Tutor Tutor has designed this lesson package for the grade or primary 1 and 2 students. It comes with a lesson plan, slides and worksheets. It is available for download at https slash slash www.teacherspayteachers.com slash Over here, we are giving an overview of the lesson to you. The teachers, tutors or parents. We are not conducting a lesson for the children. Use your ingenuity and our resources to conduct your lessons. Ready? Let's roll. Heuristics refers to the different strategies that we can use to solve unfamiliar mathematical problems. The common strategies are model drawing, guess and check, work backwards and before after. Our first problem solving lesson focuses on heuristics for primary 1 and 2. Subsequent ones will be for primary 3 to 6. Do look out for them. Following George Polia's suggestion, there are four steps to solving mathematical problems. The first step is to understand the problem. To understand the problem, we have to read the problem slowly and highlight the key information. The second step is to devise a plan or deciding on an approach. The third step is to implement or carry out the plan. In this step, we will write the equations to solve the problem. The fourth step is to check the answers. We will begin with the first type of heuristics, being giving a representation. The representation comes in the form of a model. For grade or primary one, part whole model is most frequently used. The children can anchor on their prior knowledge and number bonds. The guiding questions can go this way. Do you still remember your number bonds concept? 6 and 3 make? Well done! 6 and 3 make 9. We are now going to use what we know about number bonds to draw models to solve problems. Here is question 1. Cheryl bought 7 strawberries and 8 oranges. How many fruits did Cheryl buy altogether? Using multilling cubes, ask the students the following questions in different. How many cubes can we use to show the apples? How many cubes can we use to show the oranges? What do we want to find out? Join the cubes together to find the total amount of apples and oranges. Count the number of cubes altogether. Here is question 2. Nine boys and six girls went to Patrick's birthday party. How many people attended Patrick's party? One part is nine and the other is six. Nine and six make fifteen. Or we can say nine plus six is fifteen. Here is question 3. Ken had 15 marbles. He gave his brother 9 marbles. How many marbles did he have left? Similarly, use multilink cubes to guide the students. Here is question 4. There are 12 people in the cinema. Three of them are children. How many adults are there in the cinema? Here is question 5. 832 women and 252 men were at the National Stadium. How many people were there at the concert altogether? The lesson package includes other strategies such as comparison modeling and model drawing for multiplication and division. For download of the full set of slides and lesson package, visit us at teacherspayteachers.com.